What's up everyone? John Renter from Techno Buffalo here with the full review for you of Facebook Home as demonstrated on the HTC First. This is the launch version of Facebook Home on the very first device shipping with the software right out of the box. So Facebook has promised monthly updates so as it improves and new features get added. We'll be sure to augment this review. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is my experience with Facebook Home on the HTC First. This was the launch version and the very first version of Facebook Home. Facebook has said that they'll improve it on a monthly basis. So I'll update this review uh, as new features come out. And certainly as Facebook Home can be downloaded on other devices, the experience might vary a little bit. So to give you guys a full disclaimer, this was used for a little over four and a half days, uh, Facebook Home on the HTC First. All right, so let's start with the UI. We'll say the UI is really, really clean. Uh, Facebook engineers did a really wonderful job with it. So the basic idea is that your lock screen is your home screen. So if you unlock the phone, you don't have a password on it, what you're going to see is essentially your home feed that you can scroll through uh, in a very cool sort of looking way. Um, so you can do a few things here. Uh, if you want to see the image that's sort of scrolling behind uh, the status update, if you long press, you can see what that looks like. Uh, if you want to like something, you can double tap it. If you want to comment, you can hit that little comment button down there. You can also like uh, via that thumbs up. So if you tap the screen, you're going to get a little picture of your Facebook icon. If you hold that down, sort of the basic UI uh, is going to happen. Um, so on the left, you'll go jump right into Facebook Messenger. It looks pretty similar to Facebook Messenger um, on Facebook or iOS. If you swipe up, you're going to go to apps. And if you go over to the right, you're going to go to your most recently used app uh, or action. All right, let's go ahead and jump into apps real quickly. So things look a little bit different here. So you've got sort of shortcuts or favorites here um, in apps. And these aren't all the apps you have. If you continue to scroll over to the left, this is where you're going to get your traditional Android list of applications. It's going to show you what everything uh, is on your phone. Uh, notifications here are really slick as well. Uh, reminds me kind of of like what WebOS used to be. Uh, you can just throw them away and swipe them off the screen. You can stack them and throw them away. Uh, they're a little bit obtrusive right in the middle, but I found myself really enjoying it. It actually is probably one of my favorite features uh, of Facebook Home. They did a really nice job with it. Um, another cool feature is chat heads, and this is one that's making its way uh, to a ton of other devices, including even iOS. Uh, so it can be used even when Facebook Home is turned off, and at least on the HTC First, they're fully integrated with SMS. It's kind of a cool way to see uh, who you're chatting with. You can open up other applications and still have that chat head there. You can click it and go right into that message and reply. When you're done with it, you could swipe it right down on the screen into that X. It just looks very cool. It doesn't add any more functionality than a traditional SMS app would, but it really does look very nice. All right, so we've talked about the way the UI looks and how it performs and what you can do, but there are a few problems. So Facebook set out to make Facebook experience right on your phone. They certainly succeeded with that. But the problem for me is that this is also a phone. So dialing a number shouldn't take so many steps. If I want to make a phone call, for example, I got to take this. I got to go up to the top. If it's over there, I got to go and select phone, and then I can go ahead and dial. It's too many steps to do basic phone functions for me. And for being a phone that's meant for Facebook, uploading a picture also takes many steps. So if I want to access the camera button, I got to drag this, go to Facebook, I can select camera from here or there, and then select it. And also multitasking is pretty much removed. Uh, with Facebook Home. So know what you're getting into. If you want an experience that's just going to be Facebook central and not using your phone for much else, then yeah, this will suit you just fine. If you use your phone for a lot of other things, uh, anything that's not Facebook takes a lot of additional steps. Uh, it can be a tad on the annoying side. Um, so the verdict here, it's very visually appealing. Uh, Facebook engineers did a really nice job making this look gorgeous, and they certainly succeeded there. Um, but for me, I don't need my whole phone to do what an app can do. Now, certainly the Facebook app isn't as beautiful as what it looks like here, uh, but I can still scroll through my home feed, I can still like photos, and then I can close it when I'm done and do whatever else I want to do uh, on my phone. Uh, chat heads is a very nice feature, and I like the fact that I can use it uh, even when Facebook home is turned off. It's a very novel, new way to approach SMS. And I give Facebook credit for trying something new. Uh, I also like that they're doing monthly updates, but we'll see what those updates are going to be. But certainly a commitment to continue to improve the experience, something that should absolutely be applauded. Uh, for me, though, it's 
not overly useful. Uh, the novelty faded very quickly and I realized I have to do other things with my phone. Um, so for me, Facebook Home, at least as it stands right now, gets a five. Uh, and that's for mostly everything non-Facebook is a pain. This is not an experience for everybody. Now you can try it and download it on multiple devices and see if it's for you. But if you want something that's again, just gonna put Facebook front and center, you're gonna really enjoy this. Uh, if you wanna do other things on your phone, you have to make sure you can live with those extra steps to do the things that you're used to doing uh, on a regular device. So love to hear your thoughts, guys. Do you agree with my review of Facebook Home? Is a five too high, too low, or fair? Uh, leave your comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you next video.